Hello and welcome to a statue review for the Popper Parade Yang Zhao Long from Ruby. So today we've got my second favourite Ruby character uh, and also the second Popper Parade Ruby statue I own and that is Yang Zhao Long, uh, Ruby's stepsister. Uh, so as with always I'm going to take a look at the statue and stuff but first we'll start with looking at the box and then get into it. So. There we have her name. I always thought Zhao Long was one word, but I have been corrected. It is two. Uh, on this side, we do not have anything. Usually it says good smile, right? That's weird. And that doesn't say anything either. Oh, okay, well, I've changed the packaging. Uh, it's obviously like a yellow colour, because yellow is her colour. She is the Y in ruby. Uh, there she is, but we'll take a better look at her in a second. Oh, okay, and it just says pop-up there. Usually you've got the whole colour scheme thing going on, but the packaging for Yang is a bit different. That's interesting. Okay, then. So, yeah, I'll uh, crack her out of this box, and then we can actually take a look at her in detail. So here we go. All right, I've unboxed her, and it's time to take a look. So, first off, shout out to the yellow base. I know some of them come with colours that are appropriate and some that don't, so I'm especially happy that's the first yellow base I think I have, so, you know, doubly cool. Uh, it also got the translucent plastic thing that the Yoko Littner did uh, from last week's review, so that's interesting. I guess they're using it more now, but if you look at the sort of slope of her leg, it makes sense. You'd need that. She wouldn't be able to stand on her own. Now it's time to take a look at the finer details. So, she's got her brown boots, uh, which obviously she wears with her brown outfit. Uh, she's also got a little blue ribbon, which I don't remember seeing in the series, but it might have some significance, so maybe it doesn't. Let me know in the comments below, uh, either way. Uh, also, she's got her, bro um, her brown, her orange socks, or tights, I guess they're socks. Um, also, a nice little touch in that that one with her like straightened leg is fine, but that one is bunched up, which is pretty cool. Let me try and get a focus on it. Eee, there you go. Uh, so yeah, so moving on up, we've also got her spats, which uh, she wears because she's a very active close combat, uh, you know, fighter. We've also got the, so I've never understood this, it looks a bit like a dress or sort of a bit of fabric coming out of her skirt, which is interesting. I never really worked out where that came from or what that is, but you know, pretty cool. And then we've got her little pouch there and her belt along with her brown skirt. Um, and then moving on up, we've got her brown sort of top, I guess, t-shirt or whatever with the um, tantalising glimpse of the Ruby logo uh, there, Team Ruby logo. And then just above it is the orange uh, kind of scarf that she wears. Now I don't think... No, you can't see the end of it under her hair. But there is a lot of hair, so it, it's understandable. Um, and then we'll move up to, well, we move up to this gauntlet, because they're the same on each hand. And that is the, uh, I don't know if these actually have names. I know, like, Crescent Rose has a name and stuff, but I don't know if Yang ever named her gauntlets. But this is her stuff. It's kind of got the shield motif or whatever, with nice black edging. Uh, it really makes it, like, pop out a bit. And then round here, which is a um, thing I never noticed in the series, which is she has eight uh, rounds or bullets for her shotgun thing, because obviously her gauntlets also double as shotguns, which, I mean, you know, if you're going to make gauntlets, you might as well make them fire bullets as well. So I don't know if the HLs are kind of a, um, a reference to real shotguns. I want to say typically shotguns carry HLs, but I could be wrong. Let me know all you shotgun enthusiasts in the comments below. But yeah, it's it, it's a really nice little touch or whatever, and you know, the, the gauntlets themselves look really cool. And then we move on to her face. So her face looks pretty cool. It's kind of happy, but kind of determined, which I guess sort of also, you know, typifies Yang, really. She's happy-go-lucky, but you know, also pretty pretty serious and stuff, and uh, you know, does go some through some dark things. As we can tell, this is early Yang because she has both arms. Um, so on to her hair, and by God, what an amount of hair she has! Look at that. Now, I've got to say, I am a big fan of the moulding and stuff for her hair. Now. Obviously, you know, it, it's not, again, it's not as sort of up there with several hundred pound statues, but 
Because Yang has always had a massive amount of hair, I'm a really big fan of how they've like layered it. Because it really does add like depth to it, which is just just from like natural shadows, because some parts of it, you know, kind of uh, cast shadows on the lower parts. And yeah, it just really makes her hair look fluffy, which is like quite an achievement for a statue, really. And yeah, that was a quick look at the Yang statue. So I'm going to go ahead now and take some photos in um, in a kind of montage, just some music, and then we'll take a look at, you know, the final verdict. I'll bring out Ruby as well so we can kind of compare them, you know, in uh, in sizes and stuff. But anyway, here is the montage. Alright, and we're back. So I brought out Ruby, because it was only uh, fair, I thought. Also, in taking the photos, I noticed a little uh, detail here that I didn't really pick up, which is that there's the Team Ruby logo on her kind of skirt thing as well, which is pretty nice. And yeah, honestly, overall, I'm very happy with this. So Yang is my fe second favourite character in Ruby, after Ruby, of course. Man, if they made a Pyra, or Pyra, um, Papa Parade, that would be incredible as well, because she's my third favourite. Anyway, um, I've got to say, I'm really, I'm really fond of this Yang statue. I love the Shoryuken uh, kind of pose. I think it's probably, I mean, it's an uppercut pose, I suppose. I mean, the Shoryuken wasn't the first ever uppercut thing, but I do love how dynamic it is. As I, as I say as well, I love long flowing either capes or hair, and I mean, she's got some incredible hair, so, uh, very happy with this. Honestly, it goes really well together as well. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, why don't you have Yang and Blake? Uh, Yang and Blake? Why don't you have Vice and Blake? Well, whilst I really like Ruby, Vice and Blake's designs are like, yeah, they're, they're fine, but I, they are a little bit expensive for statues that I don't particularly want. However, I'm happy I've got these, because they fit a theme anyway, which is like sisters, um, you know, and they're part of the team. They're, you know, they're my favourites. So that about wraps it up, really. I'm I'm really digging this Yang uh, thing. I think Ruby is still one of my favourite statues just because of the huge axe, but she's, you know, a close second of my favourite Ruby statues, of which I have too. Anyway... I will leave you guys go now, so I'll leave a playlist for my other statue reviews there, I'll leave YouTube choose another video there, and I'll cut it short. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, until next time, goodbye!